So, while trying to come up with an idea for a video, I realized that this is the Ramadan season of 2023. So what I did was simple. Search up all the lists of every Arabic nations in the world, copy it, paste it inside my favorite fate decider of the whole internet, and this is what I see. Greece is doing something. Oh shit, friends. Alright. So you need to work smart. Okay, never mind. That was not that smart. Oh, by the way, I will not make any elect factory for this match. Salam alaikum. Ah, fucking hell. Saudi Arabia. So let me spend the rest of my money on building steel and motor factory. And I'll need some, uh, what the f is this? Don't tell me this is Georgia. Hey, yo, what the f Pretty sure it was the other way around a few years back. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I'll just justify for on Iraq. No more money to build a mine, but at least some forces to invade Iraq like some nations did a few years back. Why are they not looking at their border where... Holy sh... Uh, what is that? Ukraine, what are you doing? That seems a little bit suspicious. Five minutes later. And yeah, Ukraine did the unthinkable and I think I should be worried. What are you thinking, the UAE? You think I don't have electricity? Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, Napoleon is back! The UAE, yes, of course, my brother, brother. We are on Ramadan, we should not fight each other. Uh, just don't mind what I'm about to do to Egypt, because that is a bit not halal. But at least my war with Iraq is finished and I can justify another war with Kuwait. I don't know why, but Kuwait looks very attractive to every foreign invaders. Few time in the past actually. The next morning. What else can I do? Not much besides sit and watch my tanks dying to the Egyptian anti-tank squad. Oh no, that is not a good sign at all. I did not expect that at all. Okay, never mind. At least we won. That's the important thing. Why the hell is Niger so big? Why is the world going on fire right now? What the hell is happening to Russia? This is Tetris, but in real life. Oh, that is the Greek army. What the f is that? I did not notice that at all. No. What the f are these guys talking about? The United States of Haram is destroyed. Yes, it is destroyed because it is very, very Haram. Later that same evening. Bruh. Okay, so we can send our troops into Saudi Arabia. I wish there's a unit in this game where we can just create to suppress the people in every single possible way. War justified with Iran. North Korea declared independence out of bad Korea. 100,000 strong Syrian men ready to defend their country against the imperialist Iranians. Saudi Arabia is gone finally. This is the most halal moment of my entire Rise of Nations career, I'm telling you. A few moments later. Disband, I need to disband some of my f***ing troops. Bye, Let's have a great get... time. No, what the f***, man? Is Greece not gone? What the f***? This is all Greece? Ah, Shiza. Hey, let's go. Cambodia declares independence out of Vietnam. Let's see who's winning. Finally, Greece has fallen after four f 
years. It's reorganizing my troops into a more organized formation before sending them and training them to the front line. Uh, let's just establish a colony here. I mean here in Sudan, just right across the border. I mean no, right across the Red Sea. Holy shit, what is this? So Ukraine is winning the land war while France is winning the air war. And then we can go south Sudan. Cause why only go north when you can go south also? A few inches later. <laughs> no. Wait, let me collect all my tax from the Turkmenistan people. There we go. Okay, you know what? We have no choice but to invade Ethiopia with our tanks. Which the Italians tried and it gone horribly ah! wrong. But let's see how maybe we can, I don't know, do some different things rather than the Italian. Oh, I thought this was Tennessee. Tessine, okay. I thought they were writing a city named Tennessee and... Eritrea. Finally, Iran is gone. After all of these painful years, the war between Ukraine and uh, France is fun to watch, entertaining at least for me, who is not a combatant of the war. Who wait? Why are you so rude? You know what I love to do to people who declare independence out of me? That's right. Get them right back and execute all of the participants. Civil unrest every f***ing where. Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Lebanon, whoa. And Palestine. Um, okay, so since uh, Egypt, Israel, Palestine, Kuwait, and a few more countries have declared independence from me, I guess it's time to say... Wait, hold on one minute. Mas... Uh, uh, wait. Ma salamati. Ma salamati.